what is going on everybody my name is nico and welcome back to another pokemon scarlet and violet vgc series 3 video today the final of the ruinous legendaries we are going to talk about ting lu this one is my favorite my absolute favorite of these new pokemon that we can use because i think truly it is the best of all of them i think it is just an incredibly powerful pokemon and just plays so well into what's super prevalent right now it has a really decent typing honestly it handles a lot of stuff very well so if this is your first time here on the channel make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this in the future but let's get into it ting lu what a pokemon honestly i absolutely love this pokemon i think it's so freaking good uh, and there's a lot of different sets that you can actually run on it now just to get it out of the way terra types um i think fire is solid to avoid like arcanine issues you know will-o'-wisp things of that nature however um palafin just destroys you then and palafin already destroys you because of your ground typing so i think poison is honestly just an all-around better pick right now for this pokemon i even potentially could see fairy being half decent for this pokemon but um poison is one that i think is really really solid for it but handful of different sets that you can run on this thing and you may look at its stats and go oh well it's not very great specially defensive uh but with your ability vessel of ruin you're lowering the special attack by 0.75 uh that's crazy that is absolutely crazy uh for an 80 special defense pokemon now i think it's really good with an assault vest i think assault vest is one of the better items that you can run on this pokemon um 252 hp 252 attack is really solid I think it's just a really really good option for this pokemon now this set is really interesting because you got to consider the fact that uh fissure is a 30 percent accurate move so what you can do is use fissure x turn miss fissure oh darn i didn't get a knockout come in with stomping tantrum power doubles if the user's last move failed so fissure fails come in with stomping tantrum next turn double the damage of stomping tantrum this is a really really solid way to play this pokemon it's incredibly strong the other two moves are Heavy Slam, mainly for Fluttermane, obviously. You come in, you bop up Fluttermane, really good stuff. Then you have Throat Chop, and that is also a really useful move. This Pokemon shuts down Psy Spam. Psy Spam does not stand a chance against this Pokemon, because what are they going to do? They Armor Cannon you, nothing happens. They go for uh, uh, Psy Spam, nothing happens. You're, you're a Dark type, it doesn't matter. So you eat up a Psy Spam team. It's just something that is so easy to deal with with this particular pokemon and is so solid so i really really like it for that reason because i hate indd armor Rouge. i hate it hate it with everything in me so this pokemon is and that's the number one reason it is my favorite of the ruinous legends to use the second set is very similar in the way it functions instead of fissure you just have body press because the fact that you do have to potentially miss a move the previous turn does kind of suck not getting any damage off kind of sucks especially with how slow this pokemon is i personally think that adding something else like body press is a solid way to play around uh that potential issue uh because there are pokemon that are going to come in and be able to handle this pretty well so uh, i think body press is a really solid option to also handling the other ruinous legendaries uh, which i think is a really good thing um but then also being able to you know not have to waste a turn missing an attack in terms of the third set uh, this is a Citrus Berry set, so you can allow another Pokemon to use Assault Vest. I think Stomping Tantrum, Throat Chop, and Heavy Slam is the best for this, and you can pair it with other Pokemon that cover that Fighting-type uh, advantage. Uh, I think it's a really solid set. I mean, just kind of disperse. Do your calcs. Uh, this is just something I randomly threw together here, but do your calcs. Figure out what you need in terms of Special Defense, because I do think that if you're not going to run Assault Vest, you want to have a decent amount slotted into the Special Defense category. Uh, you have a high enough attack that you don't have to invest as much. Uh, so I definitely think that this is a solid way to also play the Pokemon. So that way you can use Assault Vest on an uh, alternate Pokemon. Now, Pokemon that this is going to pair very well with, uh, I think Iron Hands is a really solid option, especially for the Citrus Berry set, uh, because it handles all the opposing Pokemon very well uh, with Drain Punch, all the opposing Ruinous Legends, that is. Um, and it's just a really solid pick all around in the current format. I think it's going to see a jump in use, as I've said in all of the, these videos where I talk about the Ruinous Legendaries. I think that this Pokemon definitely has a jump in use uh, because it's just very solid. A Pokemon that I also think can be pretty good with it are going to be um, your Flutter Mains and your bundles now you do have to consider the fact that when you use these pokemon with ting lu you are lowering these their special attack but these pokemon are still so powerful that they are very good teammates for ting lu i'm not saying that you want to always have them out on the field at the same time but they pair very nicely together 
Uh, the biggest Pokemon that I think is going to be incredibly solid next to Ting Lu, Arcanine. Arcanine, or any Intimidate user for that matter, even if you wanted to throw on a Tauros of some uh, sort onto the team. Tauros uh fire or toros water if you wanted to do something like that any intimidate setter next to tinglu you're already lowering the special attack and then you go in and lower the uh attack incredible absolutely incredible for this pokemon it, it just pairs so freaking well so i would highly recommend having an intimidate setter on your team with a tinglu it's just so good now pokemon that deal with tinglu pretty well there are a handful of them now I know we lower the special attack, but Fluttermane still does really good chip damage to a Tinglu, especially if it's like a Life Orb variation or a Booster Energy attack variation. Like, it, it will still do very good damage to a Tinglu, which is why I highly recommend the Poison Terra typing on it. Um, just something to consider there, uh, because Poison gets rid of your Fairy Weakness and it gets rid of your um, Fighting type weakness. Now, this will, this Terra typing does make you weak to Psy Spam, which I said you are a big threat to, so you do have to be very careful in that regards. But, I think that Fluttermane is still a very, very big threat to this Pokemon. Same can be said for Bundle. Um, same can be said for Bundle, especially if there's a Chiyu on the other side. Uh, Chiyu is able to come in and, you know, mitigate essentially the attack drop that you're, the special attack drop that you're giving the opposing side. So a Chiyu on the other side can be a problem for Ting Lu. A big one that is going to counter you is Palafin. Without a doubt, Palafin is a huge threat to this Pokemon. There's no way around that. Palafin just kind of bops it into next year. You don't have to worry about the special attack drop on Palafin, and you have a type advantage. It is just something that you have to be very careful playing around because Ting Lu does not like it at all. Same can be said for Chen Pao. Chen Pao, I think, is going to be a problem for this Pokemon. You have a type advantage. Um, granted, you are pretty frail with Chen Pao, and if you tear away from the damage, uh, this Pokemon gets bopped very easily by Ting Lu. Uh, but Chen Pao can cause problems, especially paired next to a Palafin. You're going to have some issues uh, keeping Ting Lu in. So that's why I think pairing it with an Intimidate Center like Arcanine or Water Tauros can be really, really good uh, into playing into these two particular Pokemon. Wo Qian is another big issue for this Pokemon because you're lowering the attack stat and then you're kind of just making uh, this Pokemon null and void. Uh, it's very difficult to deal with a Wochian with a Tingaloo. Uh, very, very difficult. Now, if you have Body Press, it can help, but even still, you're going to have issues, especially because this thing is going to just Leech Seed you and just kind of stall you out. So there are some very large issues dealing with Wochian on the opposing side, and that's why I think these two are the best, because they really just determine the pace of the battle. You lower the special attack, you lower the attack, and you could just kind of let your other Pokemon do their thing. Uh... I think they're the best for that reason. The other two are very frail and make, you know, a lot of Pokemon get one shot, but they get bopped themselves. So I think these two just play all that much better because if you look at higher uh, meta plays and higher tournament teams, the Pokemon that are doing well are bulkier, tankier Pokemon that can survive multiple hits. It's something that you're seeing a lot in a lot of these tournament settings. So I just think these two are at the, like, I think at the start on ladder, we're going to see a lot of Chiyu and we're going to see a lot of Chen Pao. As the series progresses, we're going to see a lot more Ting Lu and Wo Chan start popping up. I just think that's going to be the nature of this particular format. The final Pokemon I do want to briefly mention uh, that will absolutely rock uh, this Pokemon is Dondozo Tatsugiri. Dondozo Tatsugiri is going to be a very big problem for this particular Pokemon, so you do need to be aware of that. Now, I don't think we're going to see as much Dondozo Tatsugiri as we have in the past. I just don't think that's going to be the case. Um, but I still think it's going to pop up here and there because it is still a solid group of Pokemon. So, something you have to consider, something you have to be aware of, but that is really all I have on Tinglu. I just think it's incredibly solid Pokemon. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below because I think it's fantastic. I'm curious to hear what other people have to say about it. Um, let me know your favorite of the four Pokemon in the comments below. I have a poll on the channel that you can check out and vote on your favorite, but if you want to see more from me, make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this in the future. Be sure to check out the Discord people over there hanging out playing Pokemon all the time. And if you want to check out some other of my videos, check out all of the other ruinous Pokemon videos that break down how to use each and every one of these in competitive play. But until next time, peace.